Mick from the future here. Just wanted to say um, that I hope everybody had a really good holiday and a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, I actually had a vlog that I was gonna put up my last Vlogmas, but for some reason my memory card decided to corrupt and I lost half of my footage from the day. Um, so instead of uploading a like Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day Vlogmas, I ended up just scratching it, not uploading anything. So because these are a little bit delayed and I'm going to be uploading this soon, I just wanted to say I hope that you guys had a good holiday and I hope that you enjoyed the time with your family or time doing something that you loved. So enjoy the working vlog from the OR today um, and let's get into it. Good morning. Good morning. Said it once and I'll say it again. Which is exhausted. It's 4.38. That's how early I have to leave the house on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, stay over Monday night and I stay over Thursday night. So this is the first week of doing the real schedule. Um, and I timed it so that I would have extra cushion space for traffic. So my arrival time right now is like 6.08 or something like that. But um, I don't start my shift till 7.00. Uh, so quite a bit of a cushion. Hopefully that will help me to not have to stress about being late. And I'm currently defrosting the car. So cold this morning. Hey guys, I made it to the room. Day is ended. I look a hot mess after wearing my hat all day. We have another incredible hotel room. So I'm gonna give you a little room tour. Okay, so at first when you walk in, we have a bathroom with some textured cute wallpaper so that it feels more homey. Also, pretty tiling on the wall. Who is she? Very nice, very nice. And then you come out of here, and a little microwave area, coffee area, mini fridge. These are the essentials. This must be in every hotel room. And then you come over here, we've got two beds this time. Don't know what I'll do with this one, but I'll sleep in that one as far away as possible from the door, because that's what I do. Um, gorgeous carpet, I like the pattern. Mid-century modern lamp. Um, also, I really like when the beds have this thing underneath it so that you know nobody's gonna be under there. Um, an elevated suitcase holder, whatever those things are called. Um, and I just love the feel. I think it's very cute, very modern, very spacious. What is this? Is this like an armoire over here? Look at that. We have this little freestanding wardrobe with um, a little thing for hangers. What are these things called? There's a certain word for these when you have a closet that has this little hook that comes out so that you can hang your next outfit on. I don't know what the name of it is, but that's a nice little touch. So there you go, guys. This is the room. Home for the night. Look at this good lighting. <laughs> It's that um, mid-century modern light. But um, I want to prop you guys up on something, but I don't think I can. And that's quite an angle, isn't it? Feels like I'm looking down at you. Oh my God, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I didn't plan on holding you, but I will just hold you and give you an update of how the day went. Um, let's see, so... I was with a fellow travel nurse today um, for my orientation like a week on the unit. So it seems like how they've set it up is that I had that whole first week of like hospital stuff, modules, all that stuff that you guys saw on the last vlog. And then this week um, I am four tens and I have um, like a preceptor every day that I'm there. At least that's what it seems like which is kind of a lot as a traveler. Sometimes it's only like two days, three days, usually like a whole week technically for four days is a lot. So um, that's what it seems like so far. Today we had 
just like random general surgery cases. I think the first case that we did ended up being just like a, a mass excision from uh, like back shoulder area. Um, so we took that out, um, sent that over to pathology um, and, you know, sent the patient on their way. So uh, that was the first case. Then the second case we did today was, um, what was the second case? Oh, the second case we did today was a lap coli, which is short for a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, um, AKA removal of the gallbladder. Um, so we took someone's gallbladder out, um, either they had inflammation, gallstones, problems, uh, things going on, issues with their duct, all sorts of stuff. It could be, could be uh, a multitude of things that we took that out. And in between that time, I ended up going and doing like a full, like facility tour, which was nice to finally get that done. Uh, did about three different ways of how to get from the parking garage and I was even more confused than I was initially. Um, so I ended up just mentally deciding that I'm gonna park in the garage, walk up that big ass hill that y'all saw, um, turn the corner and just walk that block and um, I guess just walk at an incline for 15 minutes straight. So my cardiovascular system will thank me um, when this contract is over and I've done that four times a week. Oh, our third case was supposed to be um, a finger or hand fracture. Um, didn't fully find out what the reason was for, but um, the patient ended up not coming to surgery and we canceled that case. So that case didn't happen. Kind of had like a lull in the middle of the day, um, which was nice to kind of slow down for a second, um, but also makes time go a little bit slower. So I went to lunch and um, came back and we just kind of waited till the next patient was pushed up earlier to go. And then the last case that we did of the day was a, um, it's called a kyphoplasty. So basically if someone has had a compression fracture in their spine, um, then what we do is we go in and we repair that, um, put an implant like system in there. I don't wanna get too specific because I don't know, um, I don't know like the best way to explain it without like going fully into detail, but on like the basis of, of what it is, we just fix the compression fracture from somebody um, who has one. Could be from a fall, an injury, age, osteoporosis, all sorts of things. Um, so we did that and that took a little bit longer than we thought it would, um, but the patient did well. So that led me to the end of the day. I'm gonna heat this meal prepped food um, and be good and eat the stuff that I brought so that I don't spend any money out tonight. Um, and I'm also gonna get a little bit of videography business work done. I need to send a completed highlight film that has been edited and done and ready for the couple to see it. So I'm gonna get that sent over to them and hopefully fall asleep early. So. I will catch you guys in the a.m. bright and early. Choose your size. Good morning, it's another beautiful day of me getting lost, trying to get to something that I need to do. I am headed in to get my fit test done today because I had to reschedule it. But also, I thought that it was still in the same building that it was always in, but apparently it's not. It's in a totally different building. So I traveled inside because I'm in scrubs and now I've had to come outside. So I'm gonna have to change my scrubs again. Um, but anyway, this is a really pretty place. It's like a old historic looking building and they even put wreaths on. Anyway, let me go get my fit test. Look how pretty. Making it out. <laughs> I show you guys the walk up the hill. Now I'm showing you the walk down the hill. I'm trying to avoid cars. Get in there. Oh, give me this Sprite. I want this Sprite. This is my driving drink. I'm back in the car and I am mentally struggling today. I tried to sleep last night. 
Um, I think I slept maybe like three hours. I just am struggling. It is Friday. I'm trying to turn my brain around here and realize that um, it's Friday. I just have one more shift to get through this week. Um, I did not vlog yesterday. Uh, just didn't vlog anything yesterday. I'm gonna hit the road. I think I'm gonna turn on some Christmas music. <laughs> Try to get myself in a bit of a better mindset and just, um, just hope that it kind of turns around a little bit. I know I can't fix the tiredness, but I can try to control my thoughts some. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So, um, good morning. Sorry about the negativity, um, but it's real life and that's how I'm feeling today, so. this week I'm headed home thank you guys for watching hopefully you got a little bit of content from the week I don't even know what's on this vlog but thanks for hanging out with me and I will catch you all on the next one bye